Yeah, hello, my name is Martin and in this video I'd like to show you how effective Topaz Dinos 5 in combination with the Smart Sharpen filter is. And I also show you what I can get as a result of only using the Adobe Camera Raw in combination with the Smart Sharpen. Yet first uh, I have to show you the Raw um, what I've done, this is a picture and I'm the exposure. So um, I set the fill, fill light and the recovery up to have a noise. You can take a look on the noise after we set all this to zero. This is the important thing that you choose standards of the Adobe Camera Raw and also set the black to zero. Black to zero, the sharpen to standard and all the noise reduction to zero. This is an important thing to use Topaz Denoise 5. Yeah, after this um, we go in in the filter. I've used a standard I've saved here, test with no rows, raw settings. And I will show you this in the 200% by pressing the space bar. This is the before and this is the after. And we can go in in the 100%. This is the before and this is the after. And here you can see all my settings of the filter for the noise reduction. I first go to Luma, set my overall, my highlight, my shadow, set all the detail. Recover detail, reduce blur, give a little bit of grain on the end of, of everything. Then I take a look on the color, choose maybe the clean color. Then I use the red channel, adjust the red slider here and also the blue the same. And um, on the last the last I do is take a look on the blacks and correct the black level with the, with this slider. It's a new slider for the new Topaz Denoise 5. And also the debanding is a new for the Denoise 5 horizontal and vertical banding. Sometimes you have banding in your pictures, mostly on the JPEGs. But also on the raw format you can have banding from the sensor. So you can choose this horizontal and vertical. And it's, uh, it's a very nice option on the new filter from Topaz. Yeah, these are my, my settings. And um, then I use uh, Smart Sharpen. You can see how much details we get here on the tree. And I also will show you my settings on the Smart Sharpen. These are the settings for the Sharpen, the settings for the Shadow, and the settings for the Highlights. Yeah, on the, the next layer I use the same Smart Sharpen, but I used different settings here for the noise reduction and for the sharpening and uh, I only use the low amount on the sharpening and the reason of I will later use the smart sharpen filter in Photoshop but um, I need a little bit of sharpening here on the raw format it's, uh, it's better for the picture for the whole image yeah and um, now we can take a look the difference between these two ways 
by using no noise reduction on the at camera raw and using only noise reduction on the camera raw and as I saw the same settings in the Smart Sharpen I hope you can see it on this video and um, if you take a look here on the on the small leaves and the tree I will say the details even here it's nearly the same but you've got a color cast or this all the screen colors are washed out by only using the Adobe Camera Raw here on the way with the topaz you've got a clean color and everything and here with only Camera Raw you've got a washed out color and all these greens this is with the topaz this is only Adobe Camera Raw and even here in the in the clouds I hope you can see in the video here with the topaz and here with the camera raw there's a little bit of color cast in this clouds and I will say this is more naturally by using the way with the topaz filter instead of using only the camera raw yeah and this is it for this video I hope you enjoy uh, try at home, try the difference between these two ways and I hope you like it. See you the next time. Bye.